Welcome to All Things YouTube. Hello, Internet. I'm Matt Haas. There are two things you need to do if you have one of these. This is an external SSD drive. Okay? There are no moving parts, so it's dead silent, and it's wicked fast. I mean crazy fast. This is awesome for content creators like you. Okay, two things you need to do. First is disable the feature that tries to put it to sleep. Let me show you how to do that. Uh, ignore Photoshop here. F go to the system preferences of your computer, energy saver, and then this right here. Put hard disk to sleep when possible. Turn that off. You do not want that on. This is how you want it to look, okay? Two reasons you wanna do that. The first reason is there's no harm in turning that off. You get no benefit from sleeping an SSD drive. Okay, so that's neutral. The real reason is when it puts this to sleep, it will force eject it without properly unmounting it. That's bad. You don't want that because you'll get the error message that looks like this. No, you don't want to see that every time you wake your computer up. The second thing you should do is if you're a Photoshop user. So let's take a look at that. In Photoshop's preferences, so go under the Photoshop menu, Photoshop preferences, and then scratch disks. Okay, here's what you want to do. Let me connect this up. Now the drive is plugged in. Let me go back to scratch disks. Okay. By default, it will look like this. That's not what you want. Now I've changed mine and it remembered the way I had it, but it will look like this by default. That's bad. My SSD, my external SSD is here and it's not part of the scratch disk. You want to check that, move it to the top, highlight it, move it to the top. This is the proper orientation that you want. Why is that needed? Well, Photoshop is a memory intensive application. It remembers everything you do, I think up to like 50 times. So every action, it takes a another version of itself and saves it in memory. So when you undo, 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 it can go back, back, back. Well, that's just hogging up memory. Sometimes it doesn't use the memory of your computer and instead writes little temporary files to storage. Well, this is to your internal drive. That's bad. You want to beat up the external SSD. They're much, much cheaper, especially if you have an M1 Mac. Doesn't matter which model you have because the storage and the memory, it's all soldered to the motherboard and to the, the chip itself, the, the processor. That's not good. In other words, it's an all-in-one device. You have to replace the whole thing. And SSD drives have a limited lifespan. Now, they'll last for years, but you want to force Photoshop to use all of those extra temporary read-write cycles, of which you only get so many. I think it's like 300 million or something like that. Again, it typically lasts five or six years before the end of life. Um, so that's what you need to do. Any program that has scratch disk, Photoshop is the only one that I know of, put your external SSD top of the list so it can beat that up. They're cheap, you know, you can replace them. It's very hard to replace your whole computer. So save the life of your computer by doing this in Photoshop and stop trying to automatically put it to sleep or you'll improperly eject it every time your computer goes to sleep. Well, there you go. I hope this was helpful. Slap a like on this if it was. If you're not subscribed, most of my viewers are not subscribers. Hit this red button, turn it gray. I don't like them red. Make this gray. <laughs> Thanks so much. Get in my uh, Facebook group too. You can ask questions. Get direct access to me. Thanks.